International Environmental Film and Arts Festival. Uh, it was uh, founded in 2009. We held our first festival in 2010. We're working on our ninth now. I think that uh, Cinema Verde has been doing a great job for several years in bringing environmental awareness to the forefront. But there's a lot of um, uh, filmmakers that you will not see in other major theaters. So it's a really nice avenue to know that the filmmakers and all their passion and all the work that they put into their filmmaking has an audience. We've connected with filmmakers and films from around the world and it is a huge pleasure for us to be able to bring all of that interesting information into our community because we have uh, a community that is particularly interested in protecting the environment. This is beautiful because it's uh, at the border between art and science, which I think is really important. Usually films really fall solidly into the, the art, but documentary is such a beautiful form. And in particular about this, these are documentaries that aren't just telling a story, they're telling a story and they have a message and a call to action. If I don't want to eat food that's been imported from around the world or packaged and processed, I can come to the city center market. We had a beautiful eco-fair today and lots of participants in the community, different community groups. Um, the weather was just a beautiful day to be outside. This is actually my first time. It's a really wonderful festival. And so this resiliency movie is really, kind of fits into the environmental um, kind of atmosphere of this festival because it's about our social environment. It's about our kids. Can you plan for the future? when it's hard to get through even a single day. Took the risk of having resilience, and guess what? Sold out. People were being turned away. Because that is so important that we're happy and we're healthy and that we are able to help build each other up to our highest potential. We had a, uh, some shorts the other night in our VIP party, and a friend of mine was there, and she posted on our page about, now I have to look out for uh, she read the label in her wool socks that she loves, and now she has to look out for cruelty-free um, wool products. It was a very short uh, minute, 51 seconds, narrated by Joaquin Phoenix. I think that's important to know. I think that's part of the education as well, is kind of making people aware of the products that are available, because there are so many now. As an environmental activist myself for a million years, I realized that without the participation of human beings being healthy and whole themselves to where they even have time to worry about the earth was extraordinarily important. And so seeing something like this, it's a celebration of, you know, sustainability and people who are working hard to fix the problems that we've created is uh, really invigorating and that's so important. I mean, this is our environment. This is what we live in. This is going to predict the future health of our families and our, our world. Oh my god, if I could come back next year, I would come back next year. Yeah, I'm already like, what kind of films can I make that they would put in the festival? So it takes people stepping out by faith, and it takes people in this wonderful community to show up. And they do more and more every year. Next year it's just going to be amazing.